Good morning, ELE Hawks. Welcome back to school. Today is August 17th. I'm Mrs. Lale, your principal. This is what I look like on school picture day. And this is what I will usually look like when you see me at school. I love ELE, and I'm sure that you do too. At ELE, we're working together to make sure that everyone continues to learn even during this time that we can't be at school together. We really miss you, but we have to make sure that health and safety are our top priority. And right now, it would be very difficult to have everyone at school and still follow the social distancing requirements. That means we're going to start the year with remote learning. Remote learning is real school. Your teacher will be teaching you. You'll be interacting with your classmates. You'll just be doing it from different places. You will have some responsibilities, and so will all the adults that are working together to help you. Your responsibility is to get up each morning, get ready, and join your teacher and classmates by 8 a.m to try hard to follow your teacher's directions and complete your daily activities. You will need to practice patience. It can be frustrating when you want help and someone has to help someone else and can't get to you right away. So you're gonna have to really work hard to be sure that you communicate, you let people know when you need help, and then you wait patiently until it's your turn to get help. Adults have responsibilities too. The adults are responsible for helping you with technology, teaching you to follow your daily schedule, helping you learn, celebrating your hard work, and also practicing patience. This can be a challenge for all of us adults. We are used to being the ones who are in charge and knowing what to do. But starting school in a completely different way means that we are going to hit some bumps along the way. When we do, we are going to work hard to model patience for you. So you might be wondering, where is my teacher? Some of your teachers are working at school. They will come to Elizabeth Lane and you will see them teaching from inside the classroom. Other teachers will be teaching from their homes. We have lots of different reasons for needing to be at school or needing to be at home, and so we're working hard to be flexible so that our teachers can take care of you while taking care of whatever, whatever other health needs or personal needs that they have. You're probably also wondering, where are my classmates? Well, some of them are learning from home. And some of them will be learning from different daycare centers or summer camps. And some of them are at grandparents' houses or they're with other relatives who can help during the day. And some of them may even be in office buildings with their parents. This means that you may see some students on your class meetings wearing masks and others who aren't. And you might be wondering why. When you're at home, masks aren't required because you're in the house with your own family. But if you're in a child care center or if you're in a different office space, there may be a reason that you need to wear a mask, like if other people are around in the same room with you who aren't in the same family. So you may see kids wearing masks on your class meetings. You may sometimes see your teacher wearing a mask, and sometimes you might see no one wearing a mask, and it really just depends on where each individual person is and what is right for their situation. So what are we going to be doing this week at school? We always start the school year really focused on getting to know each other. We want to make sure that we build strong relationships between the teachers and the students and the students and their classmates. This is really important because this is how we become more confident in interacting and discussing and asking questions. So this week at school, we will be focused on just that. And because this year is so different, we have to put extra work into building relationships. 
So this week, your teachers have designed lots of different activities to help you get to know them, to help them get to know you, and to help you make some friends in your class. We really miss having our kids come into school each morning through the lobby, so we wanted to give you a little taste of what it would feel like starting our first day of school together if we were in the building. And we can't wait for this to be our reality again.